Welcome again to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I am Devo. Oh yeah. Hey guys, if you've never been in here before, hit like, then subscribe, and then the bell. It would be greatly appreciated. Wow, that was sizzling. Hey, thanks guys for coming in. This is a story about, oh man. Um, it's kind of going to be hard to believe, but I'm half Native American, Cherokee to be exact. My grandfather, on my mother's side, my mother's full blood. My grandfather, her dad, he was full blood. So was my grandmother. So, my grandfather was, had a pretty remarkable life. Um, I went to uh, the penitentiary as a young guy for stuff. Got released so that he could go capture bad guys where he lived that they would send the people out after him and he'd never come back. And uh, so he went and retrieved people for to get out of jail. They used him. And I can remember him saying many times, you know, that when he would tell his stories, he couldn't hardly speak English. He spoke Cherokee and broken English. But uh, Grandma would translate sometimes, sometimes. And uh, but he would say he. I remember him saying he brought more more of them strapped over a saddle, than setting up in a saddle back. Uh, dang, Grandpa. <laughs> but anyway, this story goes back to to him whenever he was younger. When he was younger, his grandfather and dad and all them, they had this book and uh, they was medicine guys, man. Uh, my grandfather was a medicine man. So he had a lot of, I don't know what you would say, bad juju, but he had juju, okay? Cat had some juju. For instance, when we were kids, uh, the house they, that they lived in till they went to heaven, uh, we all, as grandkids, <laughs> We would all gather up there. I guess our parents must have partied their balls off because I can remember back now, they would take us to grandma and grandpa's and leave us for the weekend. And all my cousins would be there, you know, like, well, yeah, I know what they were doing now. But anyway, we'd be, up, you know, spending out at granny's house and grandpa's house and grandpa would be giggling us. So she'd put us all in, a, in one room on a pallet, you know, the boys over here, the girls over here babies over there and we'd be giggling and kicking you know how kids are you know and grandpa would always say you kids better be quiet or i'm going to get the skillies after y'all and we're like oh you know skillies oh we're scared oh that means in native in native in cherokee that means like the booger man or uh something scary you know the skilly and uh one night it was raining kind of thunder and lightning and we had a window in that room and every once in a while the lightning we had a curtain on it or nothing you know the light it would come through and you could see it and we're all oh and uh, grandpa he, he was always in his bedroom reading the bible or uh, listening to turkey tapes that he made through turkey preachings he uh he really dug that what the night that in particular there was someone standing outside our window i don't know what it was or who it was or what we just seen a line of flash and we seen the figure scream and holler Grandpa come in there, went out and looked and everything, and there wasn't there wasn't even no footprint. And he thought we were all. He said, "I told you, kids, man, how many of us could go to sleep after that? You know, I needed some Kool Aid and a cookie, uh, and my mama. I mean, that freaked me out, man. And weird things like that happened in that house. I'll tell some more stories about their house. But yeah, I don't know if it's because he used to 
I don't know. But yeah. Hey guys, thanks for listening. Hit like, subscribe. God bless. Be kind. Keep smoking.